Hello, Jesse Webb, Traders Pro. Uh, market conditions, let's take a look at uh, how last week looked and talk a little bit about this upcoming week. Still bearish, actually mild, mildly bearish in a bear market. We've had a little little tick back up of short-term momentum, moved back up, and back up into this hold range, uh, which is uh, constructively positive. And we're also seeing momentum that's, or excuse me, breadth, which is it didn't budge much, but now it is starting to trend back up this other direction. For a few days there, it was kind of stuck around in the 40s. Now it's back up to 50. So we're seeing some a little bullish, uh, you know, kind of mild signs of bullishness now coming back in the market. We did see kind of a relief of these extreme levels on the buy sell ratio. So now we're starting to see these start to work back together again. <laughs> Um, we'll watch, obviously watch to see if we, you know, just have a quick reversal and come back down or if we, you know, pause and kind of have a little chop around here for the next uh, few days. I wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised to see that. Although this lot, la the last two days in the market have been really quite strong. In fact, let's look at that on S and P 500. So what we had had, we talked last time about this, these two bar, we, we talked about this one bar that was happening right here. This is a really a constructive bar for a couple of reasons one because it gapped lower it from the prior day gapped all the way lower and then it did nothing but buy all day long all the way to the upside so so you get this engulfing pattern this engulfing pattern is when it covers up the prior body in this case it covered up two uh, of the prior bodies in the last two days have covered up one two three four five six seven of those downtrend bodies so this entire move these two bars right here have, have, have really erased this selling pressure more of it was uh it was more of indecision you can see just a lot of indecision bars where you get up down small body up down small body okay you're seeing that those are just indecision now you're seeing confirmation of an upside so this is enough information to be able to start to move back that direction to start to move bullish it's a little bit early but and and there is still some risk in there because there's some resistance sitting right here you could very easily run into resistance and who knows what the fed is going to do this week or any numbers that we get and things start to reverse back down again we'll see how that ends up panning out but we did have two real good solid confirmation bars that um uh, in addition to some confirmation on some of the internals as well, like we talked about the buy sell ratio, direction alerts, uh, still you know working through that, but we're starting to see even on the indicator, starting to see a little bit you know higher highs from these lows. Sentiment is still real strong, so this this may be uh, again when that is high, it can be it can it can mean two things. It can mean that it's a confirmation trade where you're getting everybody that is bullish so that becomes kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy or you get everybody that's bullish and that's and so there's there's nobody left to buy and uh, i just don't think we're there yet based on the internal so a lot of a lot of optimism actually based on that number based on that line that blue line being up being up that high means a lot of optimism in the market right here we'll see if we get follow through on that the sectors that are leading we've seen construction oil and energy <clears throat> excuse me, uh, industrial products, transportation, keep an eye on those leading sectors. Those are the ones that you want to be drawing your, the majority of your picks from. Um, and certainly you can get some that are looking into, into some reversal type patterns. We're, we're definitely seeing some, some, uh, some movement in the medical stocks. We take a look at the new buy stocks. There's in fact, the top two are medical or biotech or of some kind. This is a, this is a, a generic drug company, Seabay good confirmation bar right here let's go back to signals and you've got just this real smooth solid uptrend followed by a retracement followed by a confirmation bar here stop loss at that low entry at the you know a, a simple market order at the open if it hasn't gapped if it doesn't gap up real high this is uh, a good location for uh, for a potential trade on that uh, if we go through the the next couple here let me just refresh and we've got uh, Seabay next one on the list uh, this looks like a buyout again when they're like that they gap their flats just to buy out just move past those EDU <clears throat> excuse me I apologize I've got a bit of a head cold today uh, EDU is moving higher nice breakout potential 
uh, potential breakout of these recent highs and uh, not a bad looking pattern there as well. ELF, uh, cosmetic stock, uh, has been moving really well. My daughter says it's because uh, she's 15 and a TikTok fan, and she says a lot of the gals on there will simply uh, promote a product and then the stock will go crazy. And apparently, in the last year, there's several. Indi- uh, several um, tiktokers that are promoting elf products so she says she goes to target and they're all sold out so anyway sometimes those you know you get the theme behind what's happening whether or not that's the case or not who knows but the price pattern is moving higher uh, a nice gap here on some earnings and it's just gradually trending higher when you get the big gap sometimes that takes a long time for the the price action to kind of consolidate just a little bit to come off of the extreme and it's done that now it's worked its way back back to a whole little confirmation move back up again so interesting location on elf agys this is a nice pattern that i like to look for minus the extreme here this is a nice pattern where you get a breakout and a close above this high location price is closed above it Uh, you could get some really nice uh, follow through on a breakout trade that looks like that so agys also a nice looking one to Keep an eye on for the day. Uh, DYN, it's a little, this is a little choppy, not a really good looking pattern. I think we're out of the top five by now, but go through that new buy list. I think you'll find some nice setups. You're seeing oil. Here's RIG. Uh, oil stocks are still moving and, and they're still buy the dip mentality on oil. And uh, those are uh, stocks to be watching. If you don't have full access to the site, you can sign up with the link below. And we look forward to having you have a great day today.